I'm about to eat a food that I have not eaten in over 20 years. That's not by choice. This food was discontinued about 20 years ago, much to my dad's dismay. I'm talking about Mohawk Valley brand Limburger Cheese Spread, which was distributed by Kraft, I believe, for some reason unknown to B or my dad in the past, Kraft decided that this item was not popular. Limburger cheese was invented early in the 19th century by monks who lived out in Limburg. That's not a lie. <laughs> I'm not lying, random wall I'm staring at. Think you're gonna sass me, wall? No. I'll get Chica to eat you. It rose in popularity in the early 1900s in America when it came over here, and it even surpassed Swiss cheese in terms of popularity. It was very popular in German populations, much like New York and Cincinnati. However, during the Prohibition, apparently, Limburger cheese could not be eaten without an accompanying beer. So it lost popularity. This is all true. <laughs> this is all true. All true. Now, what I have here is not Mohawk Valley brand Limburger cheese spread. This is Amish country old-fashioned Limburger pasteurized processed cheese spread. The real stinky stuff. I'm not joking, that's, that's what it says. The real stinky stuff. Now, if you don't know Limburger cheese, you may have heard of it. It's the cheese that smells like feet. And this spread is something that I cherished as a child. My dad ate this probably because he was German and it's kind of a German thing, you know, weird food. But I liked it, you know, I, I really, really liked it as a kid. And I haven't had it just because it wasn't available. So this, people online have said, tastes similar. This only came out a few years ago, and there's a small but very energetic portion of the internet that is kind of missing the old Limburger cheese spread. I am kind of that type of person. And my dad's go-to snack was Triscuits, and Limburger cheese spread. I love this. My dad got mad at me because I ate all of it. The jars were only ever like this big and sometimes it was a big one and this, this was it. That big around that big, that's it. These I had a special order from Wisconsin, which is the Mecca of cheese, if you didn't know. I love cheese. Did I mention that I really love cheese? But I have not had this in ages. I don't know what kind of, here's the thing. Food memory is a real thing. Food triggers very specific memories. It can be one of the most like throwbacky foods. It make you go back in your brain. It make you go back way back in your past. It make you think long time ago, if you get food that you will not eat for a while, you will get big brain. And then you remember, you must like smells. So I have not opened this. I've had this for about two days now and I've been looking at it and I've been like, I really want to eat it. But I don't know if it's going to be the same. I don't know if I'm gonna remember it the same way. I don't know if I'm gonna hate it. But if it's even anything close to what I remember as a kid, I, but I honestly don't know. I, I, really, I don't know how it's gonna affect me. Yeah, yeah. Risking cardboard cuts your. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had a triscuit in it. It's just too. I think I, I stopped eating triscuits at the same time because why else would you buy a triscuit? Nothing against triscuits, but what's the point? Ah, triscuit. Really weird. I haven't had a Triscuit in so long. That's delicious. See, already, like, already I'm kind of getting this rush back. I, I took one bite of that. I was taken back to my childhood home, the first one I remember in Cincinnati. I just remember, like, for some reason right now, all I can think about is sitting in, or standing in the middle of the kitchen in there and just, that's really weird. I can remember the smell of the walls. We had like old style wallpaper. So it had a very distinct smell to it. And then we eventually stripped it off and we had this like that wood paneling on the walls there, the kind of fake wood. I remember it, that's weird. That's crazy. Okay, anyway, so this is the coup de gras. It looks the same, by the way. It looks much the same. <laughs> that smells. Exactly the same. <laughs> Probably because it smells like Limburger and it's super stinky. I don't hate it, which is a good sign. Man, that's crazy. For some reason, I just remembered sitting in the garage, whittling a horn down. This is a very strange memory to come back to it because it has nothing to do with Limburger cheese. My dad used to make 
uh, old style musket rifle, muzzle loaders that you had to do. They're handcrafted out of wood and my dad used to make them. And he used to uh, make powder horns, which are literally just bull's horns that you shave down for gunpowder and you put in the muzzle and that's it. I used to, uh, to try to participate in it. I used to sit in the garage and I used to just whittle down the horn. It was horrible, it was horrible, horrible, but I did it because, you know, I wanted to be involved. So I would just sit for hours with a nail, a big old file, like a huge one, like a foot long, and just <laughs> like on this horn. And it was never enough. <laughs> I'd be like, Dad, I don't know what I'm doing no more. I don't know why I'm thinking of that now. It's not, it's not, it doesn't, smell quite the same. And I remember the, the the other spread being a bit goopier, but maybe because this one's more substantial. I don't know, maybe it's got more flavor to it. That's crazy. This is where rubber meets the road. This is like, fucking, just doing this. <laughs> I used, like, it's so weird. Picking something up that you haven't done in 20 years and doing it again. Like, this was my after school jam. Like, I was like, I'm not gonna make it like I ate it every single day, but I loved this. It was delicious. That is weird. Um, not the taste. It tastes exactly the same. I don't know why. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. That's really weird. I like, as soon as I took a bite, I started tearing up and I don't know why. I just like, as soon as I took that bite, I was taken back. Just every, the only time I had it was in that house. The one I grew up in. And I have this weird, like, collection of memories that are popping up. I remember this one time my dad was pissed off. I don't know why this is coming up, but my dad was pissed off because the alarm was going off, the fire alarm was going off, and he, he was really frustrated about something. So he just fucking jumped up and swapped it off the ceiling. I think that's the thing, it's just like this, this is such a my dad thing. And for the longest time, my dad was pissed off because they didn't make it anymore for some reason. He scoured the internet for it. My dad was always very tech savvy, so he was on the internet long before I was. He introduced me to computers, and so he, he would scour the internet. I bet on some obscure cheese forum that's still in existence to this day is, is a post made by my dad <laughs> angrily ranting about how they don't make Limburger spread anymore. That's incredible. Do you still like it? I love it. I really do. It's really good. You want one? Sure. It's really good. <laughs> I couldn't think of the smell, but I know the smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For those at home, you know, obviously there's no YouTube smell of vision Limburger, it, its smell is very strong and very distinct. And this isn't even accurate Limburger cheese. This is Limburger spread, which is different than straight up cheese. So if anything, this is like a mild introduction to Limburger as a whole. And uh, I may not like the cheese straight up, but I love this. I remember my dad told me I couldn't ride my bike through the backyard because it tore up the lawn. So what did I do? 
a fucking road by bike, one lap around the backyard. And I was looking in the windows like, yeah, can you see me? No, he can't see me. And then I, I rode through real quick. And then I came around for the second lap. And I'm like, <sighs> and then I look in the window and he's just standing in the glass doorway, just staring at me. And I'm like, <laughs> I just remember biking very slowly around the house. That's so weird. Oh God, I don't know why. It's really, really weird. This is a very specific food and I doubt that anybody would like it. If you want to try Limburger spread, I'll put a link in the description. It is most likely a purely acquired taste. So if you didn't grow up with this, you may not like it and it may take a while for you to become accustomed to it. But if you like soft, stinky cheeses, Mm. It toes that line between strong cheese and dog food. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I like it, but you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's an edge and it's close to it. Yeah, 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 I get you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Trisket's the only thing that brings it back. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even have the words to describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm very nostalgic about my dad right now. Like I don't think about my dad on a daily basis. But, you know, he was probably, you know, the best dad that I could have hoped for. Uh, for those of you who don't know, some of you may not, my dad passed away when I was 18. And uh, he was just a really good dad. That's all he ever wanted to be was a dad. And he had me and my brother when he was very old in life. He had my brother when he was 46, 47. I bet if he tried this, he would say it's not the same. <laughs> he would demand Kraft bring back Mohawk Valley brand Limburger spread. But this is good. This is really good. I like it a lot. I'm not joking about it. I, I'm, I, I'm legitimately like, this is pretty good. Mm, pretty good. But you know, this is probably horribly dangerous for me. So I also bought this. Uh, this is a Geiger counter. <laughs> so this measures radiation for those of you who don't know. So. Little, uh, it's got a big old screen, it's a little baseline. Okay, that's low, I think. It's creeping up. It's on five, six, seven, nine, the frick? ten. Okay, the cheese is not radioactive. <laughs> Amy, can you go get your new dishware? New. You say it's new. Sorry, old dishware. Pre-World War II. My great-grandmother's fiestaware? Yeah, so... <laughs> I got this... Is this relevant? Yeah, yeah, it's relevant. Yeah, it's relevant! You, anytime a Geiger counter is relevant, you gotta know when you're safe! So I, I got this because Amy got these new dishes, and you never know when you want to check the radiation of something. It was at 13. These... The, that one's fine. Okay, this is fine? Yeah, those are okay. fine. Okay, this is... Pottery from when? The 1930s? 30s or early 40s? This Probably is pottery from the 1930s, before the war. Nothing, right? Uh, so totally fine, right? Very good, very good, yeah, very good. Very safe, very safe. Are you scared to touch it? This is also from the 1930s, same batch. Okay, you see the... We hit 300. Oh my god! 400. Oh my god! Give it away from me! It's fine. It's not fine. It's shooting little sparks of radiation. I see flares in my eyes from the neutrons. Ah. 600. Ah. Okay, it's it's peaking up over 1200. If it's over a thousand. Very high. Leave the area ASAP and find out why. I know why. <laughs> What 2000 says extremely high, evacuate immediately, report to government. And it's it's just crossing 1500, Amy. It's still going up! This is evacuate immediately! Oh my god! It's up over 2200. That's evacuate immediately and report to the government level. I. It's not a. This is at 14 microsieverts. I'm not joking. This isn't new information. <laughs> 
Yeah, but now it's in context. Take it away. Get it away from me. You got something to say about my great grandmother, Mark? Huh? She might be irradiated. <laughs> hey, Liz. I'm just going to check the spot that it was on real quick. Here, I touched it with my hand. I'm fine. My hand. <laughs> my hand, like Chernobyl. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> No, it's not funny. No, it's not funny, Amy. <laughs> it's not funny. Anyway, that's not the point of this video, but it's a good sidebar. <laughs> it's a good B plot to this video. <laughs> so this is another food that I've had more recent than 20 years ago, but I haven't had for probably about 10 years now. <coughs> <coughs> The radiation. <laughs> anyway, so this was my dad's favorite snack. Fig Newtons. If you want to know confirmation that my dad was at one point an old man, he loved <laughs> some Fig Newtons. So this is just like, this is the coup de grace because my, my dad's two favorite snacks of all time was Limburger spread and Triscuits and Fig Newtons. So I'm just gonna have this to complete off the memory. I'm gonna see where this one takes me because the last time I had this was in, in, not in my first childhood home, but the one after my dad met my stepmom. God, they smell good. They're good, they're good stuff. They're really good stuff and they're not too terribly bad for you. The package was a lot smaller than it used to be. Yeah, they used to be bigger. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about this. I just, I, I really like Fig Newtons. Marching band. That's what this reminded me of. Marching band. Oh my god. Not marching band like on the field marching, but the era in which I was doing marching band. That is crazy. It's not as like a visceral kick in the brain as Limburger was, but this is pretty good. Mm, delicious. They're like Nutrigrain bars, but cut up into thirds. They're very good. If you've never had a Fig Newton and you want to shit real good, try them. Full of fiber. Is that prunes? No, they're the same thing. No, they're figs. <laughs> a prune is just a fig, right? Figs are the ones that... Oh, wait, no. This doesn't have a lot of fiber. Wasps fertilize, right? Isn't, aren't figs the wasp one? Figs are made of wasps? No, where like, the wasp like, crawls into them to fertilize it? Yeah, that's a fig thing. This was fucked by a wasp? Yes! Oh! That's figs! <laughs> Am I crazy? Are there dead wasps and figs? Are there? Uh, female wasps know they need to get inside a fig to lay their eggs, so they crawl inside both male and female figs to try to do that. The female wasp burrows inside the fig through a narrow opening. If she arrives in a male fig, she's able to lay her eggs in an ideal environment and then dies. Did you eat a male or a female fig? <laughs> so yes, there is a, likely at least one dead wasp inside the figs that we like to eat. Okay, great. Okay, uh, in conclusion, if you, like me, used to eat Mohawk Valley brand Limburger spread, this is a adequate substitute. It's not the same, but it's very likely that the original will never come back, unless we all cumulatively tweet at Kraft and demand, scream, rant, rave, and never stop tweeting at them until they bring it back, or we all just move on and maybe try this. And hey, if you guys managed to try this and you've never tried Limburger spread, Film it, send me the video, because I want to see you guys' reactions to eating this right here. I love this. This is amazing. It is good enough in my mind to bring back the memories of the times when I ate it as a kid. Mm. I know it'll wear off eventually, but I really like the fact that every time I take a bite of this, it makes me smile, because I remember like my childhood. But I didn't have a great childhood because I was so poor, you know, we had to eat limber cheese, but no. I had, I had a great childhood, and it's largely in part to my dad because he was just such a good dad. So anyway, that's all for now. If you got other foods that you want me to review, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and uh, as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!